If you didn't know about the Sazerac House on Magazine Street in downtown New Orleans, you've been missing out. This is one of the best free activities that you can do in New Orleans. Even if you're not a drinker, I think anyone would enjoy this. It's a museum and distillery dedicated to the history of the official cocktail of New Orleans, the Sazerac. So come on in and take a tour with me. The Sazerac House has complimentary self-guided tours and tastings that you can either reserve online or walk in and reserve as long as there's availability. The tour starts on the third floor and then you work your way down to the first floor. There are lots of interactive stations throughout the museum. There are also tastings on each floor as you'll see shortly. This was our first sample of the tour. It was the actual Sazerac cocktail, and it was actually pretty good. I had never had one, and I can actually say that I enjoyed it. Once it has, pour in an ounce and a half of Sazerac rye, and then a scoop of ice over that, so it chills. 
Now, by the turn of the 20th century, the sound of rap cocktail was obvious as one of the first people to drink. So, dump out that, right? And then, we're in just a touch of herb sand, swirl that around. You just want to coat the inside of the glass. So swirl it around and then dump out the excess. And here's our big contribution. Since 1934, we now have an atomizer sprayer. You don't have to waste the herb sand. Or make a mess, because that's all you need. Just that little bit is going to add a lot of aroma to the cocktail. Now, you go back to your mixture here. I've got uh, sugar, bitters, Sazerac rye, just a touch of water in here, just about the amount of water you get from chilling down the cocktail. And that gets strained into the glass that you lined with the French Creole Cajun cooking. The sound of that cocktail has become a touch of the lemon twist. So you just want the peel. You don't want the lemon juice. You want the oil out of the skin. So get that little squeeze. And you see, you get a little burst of the lemon oil. That also is going to add another layer of aroma and a little extra flavor to it. Different than lemon juice. Would. So that's important. And there you go. My absolute favorite part of this tour, other than the tastings, was the second floor. On this floor, they had the virtual bartenders, which was so much fun. They had four different stations to choose from, and you actually sit down with the virtual bartender. They hand you a menu, you select your drink just like you're at a real bar, and then they make the drink for you and explain the recipe in detail and the history of the cocktail. They then serve it to you, and you can sip it virtually. And at the end, you can take a selfie with them. It was really cool. I decided to sit with Armand at Bokeri, I think that's how you pronounce it, and I enjoyed a virtual French 75. Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to Bernard. My name is Armand. Today, we'll be featuring three classic New Orleans cocktails, and we're best known by a Sazerac cocktail, but I promise you, you can't go wrong. Take your time, choose your drink, and when you're ready, I'll be right back. Friend 75 it is. You're in for a real treat. Now, this cocktail got its name from a French field gun in World War I, and like the gun, it packs quite a punch. Some bartenders will tell you that the original base spirit was gin, but I say it's cognac. It's a French cocktail after all. Let's get started with the mix. We start with some lemon juice. Hey. Some simple syrup. And finally, a Sazerac Forge Feast Cognac. This bio grade is over 150 years old. We always bring it out on very special occasions. It's actually a brand that gave the Sazerac cocktail its name. And luckily for you, Sazerac cognac is back. You'll have to try it next time.
second tasting station was the Owen Cocktail, which was basically an alcohol version of black licorice. It was interesting, but we enjoyed it. It was something new. Our last tasting and my most favorite one of the tour was the Bee's Knees. Now I had heard of this cocktail, but I never had one. It's a gin-based cocktail and it was delicious. So now we're back on the first floor where we started, which contains the gift shop and the distillery. They had some really nice things in the gift shop, and they also had complimentary recipe cards for all of the cocktails they featured. I hope you enjoyed taking this tour of the Sazerac house with me. I know I certainly enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.